hello everyone welcome back to my channel i am t if you're new here welcome right now i am heading into home depot to go ahead and go shopping i am looking for specific things and i hope i find them but you guys some of these prices it's a little steep but i'm out here catching these deals for you guys so stay tuned so you can find these deals as well all right we are now at home depot and home depot first thing up is Myers lemons i had a Meyer lemon i had actually two of them and both of them just died from the cold snap that we had we had an arctic freeze last year and i did not take them in and i should have knowing that they were very new planted Meyer lemons and the key lime so and i did get mine from a another youtuber that i ordered it from and that channel is the bulls garden and you guys i really really want my myers lemon and my key lime so i am going to graph off of this key lime because this tree is running 30 dollars for this small tree sometimes we can find these on sale almost late in the season but i kind of just want to go ahead and jump into going ahead and getting one so i am going to pick up just the key lime today and hopefully um the bull's garden will have the key lime again i mean not the key lime but the Meyer lemon but you guys look at all these beautiful plants now they are a little bit pricey but online they're even more expensive i have yet to see them running any lower than this most of the ones i've seen is running like 59 dollars or higher and so i was like look i'm gonna go ahead and pick up this beautiful tree right here and then as we stroll along look at all of these fruit trees we got fruit trees these are figs um i do have a brown turkey fig they're very easy to grow and they have here is some blackberries you guys i have yet to put my blackberries down i really need to make the trellis for it and i haven't but here is a rosemary so this rosemary is the idea of a nice size rosemary i am going to be sticking a rosemary in the corner of my uh new renovated main garden and uh, i think it's just going to look so nice in that corner it does get like six feet tall so rosemaries do get really really big if you guys did not know here are some blueberries I do have blue two blueberries. I absolutely need to go ahead and up pot them. I should have up pot them before they even came out of dormancy so that they would have took on more growth and grew in to a new container. But the soil level in both of my blueberry uh, pots are so low. I do need to go ahead and up pot them. I still haven't bought the two plums. I realized that my plums actually have this fungus. Uh, it's some kind of sap that seeps out of the tree. And basically, it kills your tree. So pay attention to if you see this nasty orange sap that's coming out of your tree. It is a fungus. And it can kill your trees. Mine happened at the base of my trees and I didn't even notice it. So make sure that you clean around your plant so you can notice um, something like that. Because if I didn't have the weeds at the bottom of my pot, I would have seen it. But until I went to go and truly investigate it, it is at the bottom base of my tree. And that is why my cherry trees died. I mean, that's why my plum trees died. Now, I did try to go ahead and take care of one of them, and hopefully they will bounce back. But here is some of Bonnie's plants. They do have in here is a multi-pack. They have sweet potato vine in. I didn't see anything that was different. 
sometimes I go through here just to see if they have something different. I am looking for a um, a shashuto pepper and I am looking for a candy cane pepper. These two peppers that I am looking for. Yes, I can purchase the seeds, but you guys, I really just kind of just want to try it out. And that's it. Now, I do have a shashuto pepper seeds. Um, I might just go ahead and try because I was just wanted to go ahead and have it just to see if I really liked it or not. But you guys, I didn't see anything different um, on the Bonnie side at our Home Depot. Sometimes Home Depot will have different varieties um, than Lowe's. So as I continue to go along in Home Depot, you guys, they supposed to be running $5 and some change. Then it's $4 and something. I don't know what's going on with some of these prices. If one is four four forty seven or $5.47, I'm not sure. But the prices vary. They do here have the light, um, the light pink uh, strawberry flowers. I do have the dark fuchsia uh, strawberry flowered ones, and I think they're just adorable, you guys. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I know it's just a pink flower, but it's so adorable. Now, check out this. Okay, Burpee. So Burpee has here, you guys, day plants, and I mean, they're running $2.98. Some of them have two in there for $2.98. They got different varieties. That right here is a small patio variety. And I was like, okay, I didn't know Burpee um, was selling plants. I have yet to see it at our Home Depot. This is new for me. I did not know they sell them. And I just wanted to give you guys a tour of the fact that there's burpees. And they are reasonably priced. Especially if you are a beginner garden. And you just want to pop into some plants to even learn the technique. So I thought this was absolutely a great deal for $2.98. But the best deal I found with burpees is this one. Is their herbs. So their herbs are running. Their herbs are running the same price. So here you got here is parsley. multi sown parsley. So you can break this up. And you guys you can have multiple plants. So if you didn't want to start your herbs. You can go ahead and divide these out. Can you see all of those? Uh, oregano plants you could just divide them out you might have a good 12 plants in each pot or more and you have multiple plants so pretty reasonable for two dollars and 98 cent i think and the one that i did catch um that i wanted but they didn't have it was i think it was lavender and lavender plants are some of them are running five dollars and 97 cent when you can Get burpees for two dollars and ninety eight cent. See right here, they got some lavender. These are bigger pots. Just pick the small pot up, I promise. Or you can head over to the produce section and pick up herbs as well. It's running roughly the same price, $2.97 at Walmart. So check out those deals around, if, especially if you're just starting out and you don't want to start from seed. Um, come, come out and check out these deals. I'm telling you, it will be worth checking out, I promise. $2.98 for your herbs, multi-sown, great deal. And see, the lavender was gone for $2.98. People just took all those because the plants are running really high. And if you can get them already done, why not? They got three for 12. And this is some dianthus. I 
I love dianthus. They grow really pretty. Here is some geraniums. They had a lot of the dark pink geraniums. Now this is a annual. So I didn't want any annuals, but they are beautiful. Look at this one. I was thinking of the white because I have white on my front porch. But the two-toned geranium is gorgeous. Right in front of me is a tall white mandevilla. Then you have two for two. 50 these are like smaller pots but i was looking at these little petunias now i just picked this up at lowe's and they were reasonably priced a little bit cheaper than here by what 25 cents i think something like that I like to show you guys both of the stores just in case you don't have a Lowe's and you just have a Home Depot. Like in South Carolina where my mom is, they only have a Lowe's and the Home Depot is a good ways away. So it's always good to kind of shop around. So if you don't have a a Lowe's, you have a Home Depot or you have a Home Depot and, and don't have a Lowe's, Home Depot has a good sale going on as well. As far as the smaller pots, if you want it to uh get a good deal on the pot so it's two for 25 at the home depot so as you guys can see here they had some snapdragons and some dianthus dianthus are great here in north carolina they actually come back they are considered a annual but dianthus is very hardy still and it will come back. I have never had a problem. I actually gave my mother some and they keep coming back every year. And I did have some around my sand pit, which I killed them because I just didn't want them around my sand pit anymore. I should have dug them up, most of them, but I dug up some and gave it to my mother. And I just never replanted the ones back around my sand pit. But they definitely come back here in North Carolina. And as you guys can see, they're multi sown so you could always take them apart and get multiple plants. And like I said, they're only running $2 and 25 cents for two. So you'll get a ton of plants if you want to go ahead and prick them out and divide them up into individual containers. And I kept going back because I was like, do I want to get this white to go on my patio and on my front porch? Because I told you guys, I do have a moon garden up front. I can't stress this enough because I have new followers. And I want you guys to know I do have a moon garden up front where it's mostly white flowers. So when the moon shines on my flowers at night, they are very, very bright and they reflect off of the moon. Now here they have, here is some blueberries. The price is pretty reasonable. It's $15, but you guys, I do recommend that you do shop around because I've actually seen some of these blueberry trees running $5 on sale. And sometimes you can run into a great deal on them in these containers. So always check around once a week or twice a week or every other week and just swing by your store and see if you can run into a deal where some things are marked down and as well they have their mulch on sale so if you don't have the lows that is running five for ten home depot is doing three for ten so it's still a deal but lows is running a better deal at this point on the mulch I did come over here to check out their pavers now their pavers are running at like one 
70 something like that and it was actually cheaper for me to go to walmart and pick up my my pavers and normally home depot will have them on sale soon but if you go to lowe's they have the bricks that are running for for a dollar that are 25 cents but i have something different in mind so i hope that helped you guys out if you're looking for bricks that are on sale and they're only running for for a dollar at lowe's We just finished shopping at Home Depot and I'm really happy with some of the things that I did find because some of the prices were really steep. Um, but I did end up picking up, you guys, the Meyer Lemon. I was, not the Meyer Lemon, the Key Lime because I had two Key Lime and both of my Key Limes died. So... I ended up picking up a key lime and I'm hoping what I'm going to do is just go ahead and graft off of that one key lime so I can have multiple key limes because I do at least I want I do at least want two so that's what I'm going to be doing but we are finished shopping at the Home Depot and I hope you guys did watch the Lowe's haul because right now they have sales going on at both locations. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification so you can be notified when I do a late video. And like I always tell you guys, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, you guys. I'm trying to get out this parking lot. Bye-bye. <laughs> Happy gardening.